Greetings, traveler. Welcome to Disciples Liberation. This is a tactical RPG with base building and adventure. And this is a sponsored video, but personally, I love RPGs and I'm looking forward to sitting down and enjoying my time with this one. Disciples Liberation is a mature dark fantasy strategy RPG with turn-based combat. Liberate the land of Navendar and uncover the endless stories hidden within this richly detailed world where every decision has a consequence and every wrong move could be deadly. This game is promising 80 plus hours of a single player campaign where you can explore a war-torn overworld journeying through four diverse environments from luscious woodlands to fiery volcanic plains and icy tundras. Journey together by joining forces with four in-game factions, from proud elven clans to remorseless undead hordes, and write your own story by choosing how you skill your character and who you associate with in the world. One cool thing is that you can build a base in this game. You take on quests for precious resources and use political savvy to build a place of planning and sanctuary. And from there, fight for your life by recruiting units and building an army. Also worth a mention, there's challenging deadly bosses and a nice little bit of multiplayer where you can fight your friends in a battle for supremacy in two-player online skirmishes. So if you like what you see of Disciples Liberation, click the link down below to check out the game yourself. And for now, we're gonna go ahead and check out the games right here in this video. So if you're still curious and interested, then keep watching. Okay, now you know exactly what we're in for. Let's go ahead and encounter Disciples Liberation. It is a time between times. For epochs, Nevendar's disciples have been victims of the winds of divinity. The people suffer, they fight, they die and are reborn to fight and die again. But the era of gods is ending. Their twin chains of chaos and cruelty will break. Fearing the dawn of this final age, the people turn to their gods once more. They find no answers. Fear becomes paranoia, paranoia becomes rage, and rage brings war with it. But war cannot stop the liberation of Nevendar. Even now, its unlikely savior awakens to her fate. What she does next will shape the future of the world. Ah, oh, that's an intro, and... We have a game to play. Ah, the sound effects so far. Just, okay, I, I've not not really gotten into the game, but ooh, those sound effects. It's given us a lot of stuff. Ah. Let us begin. You return from your lookout to the sewers below, the church of St. Darchild, Orion, your best friend, lay asleep. Were it not for his snoring, you'd think his motionless body dead. Ori, you all right? What? What? Oh, Avi, I, I thought you were a church guard. I don't know what's worse, your snoring or this stench. How can you sleep down here? I, I can sleep and drink anywhere. It's a gift. What time is it? You think a moment, before continuing. Just past twilight, the priest's holy hands have gone, leaving three unaccounted for that I've seen. Right. Well, how are we going to do this? Dialogue choices. There's lying, uh, there's unpredictable outcomes, reasoning. We'll figure it out. Uh, ooh, attempt to be romantic with another character. Kill the priest, I mean. But we're here to kill a priest. Ooh, ooh. 
You know what? No witnesses. Kill everyone. We know the Church of St. Darchild is always guarded, even at night. We have to go in and kill everyone. The contract didn't say anything about guards. If they see our faces, the Empire will hunt us and our families. Ori, we have to be thorough. You've known Orion long enough to know what he's really thinking. You seem nervous. We've done a lot of contracts, but killing's never easy. So, yes, I'm nervous. Aren't you? You know what? We're doing the right thing. I'm sure of it. The contract said this priest is as corrupt as they come. We're doing the people a favor. We're basically heroes. That's right. So we go in there, take care of the priest, the guards, and any other witnesses, then we get out. Simple as that. Simple as that. Simple as that. New unit, uh, well, Orion is morally gray but loyal. Okay. Now, we're in the game. So, this is an RPG. Oh, our footsteps are really loud. They sound nice and crunchy though, don't they? But this is a good good point to just Inventory. Yes, we've got the inventory. Uh, just to show you some of the options while we're here, we've got the usual gameplay options. Rebindable keys, great. Uh, various uh, uh, visual options. We've set everything to the higher settings. Audio settings here. Let's drop sound effects somewhat. So, those footsteps are still crunchy, but not quite as loud. Anyway, we're in the sewers. Some dialogue going on on the left, flavor text. But now, let me show you, this is a tactical RPG, and I actually like tactics games because, you know, I'm not exactly a high micro person. Let's, let's fight these Empire forces, the first guards of the first dungeon. Impure, his eye sees all. Time to battle, defeat all enemies, ready. Uh, we, we, it's the first battle. You don't have to overthink it too much. Uh, battle strategy, action points. Okay, so I've I've messed around with this part of the game, and uh, basically it's a tactics RPG. And I'm starting to see quite a few games come out with this sort of arena, uh, and it's pretty popular now. But let me show you how this one works. So we've got this arena. This is our battlefield. We can look at the stats of our enemy. They've got four movement points. So we want them to come to us. One, two, three, four. Leave a gap. Now just you take see a step me? up. Waiting. Yes. So, so we can end the turn there. Move out. And I'll bring Aviana up and wait there. Mounting now an let, offensive. Let them come to us. Let them come to us. We will be victorious. I beg to differ. Okay, so we've now got these abilities. So because I've done this first battle, I know what uh, the basics are, so I'm not learning all the absolute basics here with you. Uh, but Orion can cloak himself. Feel my blades bite! And let's uh, now you see me. walk behind this guy. Now, uh, Aviana has two abilities. Let's move. Let's use one of them now. Clearing strike. You're done. Okay. Demoralize. Great. Shield bash. Holding the line. It healed it. How? I have made a mistake. <laughs> this is literally the. I've, I've done this first battle a couple times, and now I'm recording it for you guys. This is literally the worst it's ever gone. Um, flank, stealth bonus, everything you onto this guy. Abby? You mess with me! Abby's taking hits. We can stab Feel him again. Bite. Okay, that actually turned out really good. Oh, he's got bleeding as well. Down. Sword swing. There will be no surrender. Okay, Abby's taking some serious hits. Um, I'm gonna try finish off this You're guy. You're done. <laughs> the Liberator reigns. And then I'm going to run Quickly. away. 
<laughs> Things always go the worst when you guys are around. <laughs> All right, so uh, we we can't cloak yet, but we I'll can sneak past them. Step up. Feel the snakes bite. And do a weakened Wear them down. stab. A weakening stab, rather. Okay, I don't. We have. Uh, you know what? I think it's fine. I'm going to just. Oh, we heal up when we don't do anything. Great. Okay, we're gonna you mess Orion's with cloak. You mess with me. And immediately stab him. Feel the snake bite. So that way, the cloak allows us to apply bleeding. And now that he's bleeding, let's send Avi back up and do a commanding You're strike. Done. Yes. Holding the line. Uh. Okay. We recovered. We recovered. It's going okay. Uh, I'm going to stab him twice. You mess with Avi, you mess with me. Feel my blade's bite. Ah, the bleeding got him. <laughs> okay. Victory. Defeat all enemies. Got some money. Got some XP. Great. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. Well, the sewers clearly aren't as safe as we thought they'd be. We'll fight our way through, just like we planned. New spells, Solonial's Mist. But anyway, that's the first battle, and now you know how combat works. And that's actually, in RPGs, turn-based combat, it's actually the kind of thing that I'm into. Uh, Post-encounter healing. So these fountains can heal us up. Uh, we actually recovered quite a bit. Orion is at full health, and Avi is actually doing fine. But let's heal up anyway. And pull the lever. Gotta be pulling levers in sewer dungeons, you know? Okay. If we hold down Alt, we can highlight various items. Uh, and, well, interactables. Now, stealth is a mechanic, right? So, these Empire forces... Oh, we were detected. Fine. <laughs> um, how do we... Hmm... So we can see our stats here. Resistances, critical chances, HP, movement, walk, four. Okay, so we can actually see... Can we see all of their details as well? Yes. Uh, Empire, human, magic. This guy... Okay, he's got magic missiles, blurring speed, blur. Dark missiles, rather. Unholy damage. So we want to get this guy... Hmm... Can I? Yeah, I can reposition things. I might want to rush up this time because they have a magic caster. Let's save that so we have a forward start position. But we can retreat because they attacked us. That's fine. That's ready. I think we can take this. Slightly different enemy, but still just two of them. Casting spells. You recently learned your first spell. Uh, what is the spell that we learned? Well, I think we're gonna cloak you mess ourselves. With Abby, you mess with me! And while he's cloaked, we're just gonna try walk on up here. I'll sneak past them. I don't know if they have a detection range. What are these guys' movement points? Three, four, so one, two, three, four. All of this is dangerous. One, two, three, four. Yeah, if I take a step forward, he's going to hit me for sure. What is our spell? Rains down the waters of the life stream. Healing 25% of an ally's maximum HP grants a regen to the target. It's a healing spell. Okay, good. So one, two, three, four. I'm just going to take Quick a step run. forward, but up the top so we stay out of range. Enter. Glory and honor. Okay, not too bad, not too bad. Now that this guy is here, I'm gonna use Orion to deal with the spellcaster. Uh, flank now him from the me. back. 
Now, debilitating strike from Cloak. Feel the snake's bite! Weakened bleeding. That's what I'm talking about. And we can just... I'm not sure if I'm this going. counts as flanking. You're mine. I think not, but on the offensive. Uh. Okay. We're going to take some hits here. These guys are healing up as well. Let's see if we can Feel take this blade bite. Arcanist down. You mess with Abby, you mess with me. Relatively quickly. We make our stand here. Okay. I think, yeah, I'm gonna... Mm, he's... I'm not sure if our uh, healing spell heals ourselves, but I think it's more prudent right now to try and commanding strike. You're mine. I survived. Oh, it's my turn. Okay. Feel the Finish him off. Bite. I think we're getting good at this. And then try and distract past them. him. Wear Fight them me. Down. There we go. I'm going. Let's let's see if he targets me. You're done. So, uh, combat orders up the top, yeah. Feel my let's stab him fight. twice. Because these, uh, yeah, weakened on target. Feel the snake bite. Keep some weaker, which on is good. Offensive. Okay, let's see if we can heal ourselves. Yeah, it's a decent heal. That's better. <laughs> I gotta heal myself. <laughs> okay, we're healed. Um, oh, and we can run as well. I'm going. Yeah, let, let, let's run away. Let's have Ari. You mess with Abby. You mess with do me. Do some of the work. Feel my blades bite. Double stab, working out nicely. We make our stand here. Okay. All right, we get regen as well. I'm going. Stand down. <laughs> Got the it. The Liberator reigns. Okay. Just some management of resources. Leather pants. Oh, right. Inventories. we It's an RPG. We gotta deal with our inventories. I assume... Um, uh, characters. What are we wearing right now? Oh, mercenary leggings. Strength plus one. Oh, these pants are better. Strength plus five, dexterity plus three. These mercenary leggings are terrible. Let's do that. Yeah, that's much better. Uh, what are we wearing right now for the mercenary breastplate? Constitution plus one, dark elven robes. Armor of twilight twin. These things are massively better. <laughs> okay. So, power plus seven. <laughs> oh, I, I have not been equipping our stuff. We've got a lot of good stuff here. Okay, there we go. I was not, I didn't even realize we had all that stuff on us. Okay. I think we looted some of it. Skill tree, skill points, I do have five of them. Okay, so let's see. Combat, Nephilim and magic. Uh, this is Twilight Might teamwork. Twilight is uh, hardy. Get more HP. Flanking master. Critical mastery. Primal Energies, Unholy Initiate, Primal Essence Tear Spells. You know, we could do with some spells. Unholy Essence Tier 2 Spells, Primal Essence or Divine Essence. Let's do Unholy Essence. 
But also let's do flanking master, critical mastery, hardy. Oh, if we get hit by a critical hit, 20% chance to dodge the next attack. That's actually really good. Okay, let's do that. Confirm. So we've done level ups. So we gained access to level 2 unholy spells. Oh, there's a lot of spells here. Divine, primal, unholy, twilight, martial. Martial spells, okay. And we of course have our journal, quests, into the twilight, find the priest. We're here to assassinate a priest. Okay, so no hiding from that guard. Let's keep exploring. Oh, this... This place is bigger than I thought. Is this where we came from? Ah, okay. So that's just a loot. Uh, a, a loop, rather. Okay, okay. Find the priest. Uh, the indicator is... Northwest. Let's put this. Oh. <laughs> The sound effects are really good. That, 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 that one has surprised me. Got a new piece of equipment. You can equip it by going to the inventory menu. Yes. Uh, so we got... New pants. Oh, more leather pants. Okay. That's fine. Can I uh, see units? Squad menu. Companions can equip weapons and emotions shards. Uh-huh, Orion. Restricted to specific character. Oh, okay. I can change his weapon, but he's got his own thing. And emotion shards, but we can't change his, uh, uh, his equipment. Okay, that's fine. Oh. Alright, so this is not the way we're supposed to go. Oh, this- wait, this is. This opened as well. Okay. Ah, uh, you know, it's it's been it's been such a long time since I've played an RPG, and like, honestly, they're they're like my my relaxing spa games, health fountain. You know, I I, I just sort of wanna take like a week with nothing to do. And just sit down with an RPG. And, you know, like I mentioned earlier that this game has 80 plus hours. That That's the sort of thing where I, I want to, you know, typically I just sit down and do the main quest. So usually I manage to get through an RPG's main quest in like 20, 30 hours. But if I had the time, I, I'd just sit and play. RPGs are the best. Sebastian. Sebastian, the old priest serving the church of Saint Darchild, looks up from his work to you. He's sorting through children's clothing, all of it clean and well made, and marked to be sent to orphanages across the city. He's hardly the monster your contract made him out to be. Until he snarls at you, that is. The rat who's been crawling our sewers reveals herself. I'm just a simple sewer cleaner. I'm a cleaner, bringing the High Father's holy purity to the sewers. <laughs> Orion nervously tugs at your arm. Abby, this wasn't part of the plan. Oh no, I said run in and kill everyone, so now I'm trying to use a bit of deception. Orion's... Uh, Orion. Shh. Orion, Orion. Plans change. <laughs> the priest gestures to the shadows. His guards emerge. You are surrounded. Consider me unconvinced. Orion. You. Clad in the armor of the impure, and you dressed in the scraps of an imperial assassin. Oh, is it because of the stuff I I equipped? Avi, he's not buying it. Take this as a lesson, young mercenary. 
If you intend to lie in the world of Nevendar, at least lie well. All right, all right, I tried. Surrounded, trapped. If ever there was a time to draw one sword, it's now. All right, they've got paladins, soldiers, and he's an archer, I think. Movement four, movement four. So I'll I'll stay at the front. Survive three rounds. Okay, so we don't actually have to beat them. I just have to survive. Hmm. Okay, let's ready. Let's ready. I think we can stay at the front. Every unit in your active squad can be placed in the back line or front line. Front line units use their front line abilities and can be controlled during their turn. However, they can be targeted and defeated. Back line units use their back line abilities. They can act automatically each turn and cannot be targeted or defeated directly. If all of your front line units are defeated, the fight is lost. Carefully choosing back line and front line units for your squad is an essential part of battle. Oh, so he's, he's a back line. So he's there. So he's untouchable. Okay. Well, if that's the case, uh, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, two, three, four. We have to take a step back. Let's cloak ourselves here. You mess with me. And I will. Uh, there should be some. What is that? What are these? Orb of Regeneration restores 25% of max HP. Okay, so they're gonna step forward. So if I, one, two, three, four, if I I'll place you them. here, and I pull Quickly. back to here. I don't have any other spells, do I? Just the healing spell, all right. I call on his holy fury. Walk in his light. I don't feel like I can handle all of Glory this. Glory and honor. But I'm gonna try my best. I will carve his sword on you. Rally, troops. Mounting an offensive. Okay, okay. So my positioning was perfect for Orion. I don't know if I want to... I don't do a lot of damage, do I? I worry if I attack with Orion here. We just have to survive three rounds. Soldier, soldier, paladin, paladin. The soldiers are weaker. They're not all the same stats. This soldier here has three less power. So I should target him. Feel the snake's fight. And try and just You mess with Abby? You mess with me! Maybe take out one unit here. Uh then yeah, Abby can step here. Moving. And use this. Die. Okay. Demoralize. Die Great. Today. Okay, not not as much damage as Honor, I thought they would do. Guide my blade. Then again, they do too. Okay. Ah, Holding almost got him. We almost one turned that guy. Today is a good day for a fight. I will carve his sword on you. Ugh. It's not good. We make our stand here. Confused. Oh no. There will just be died. no surrender. Uh, Orion. Holding the line. <laughs> Orion is going through exactly what I thought he would. Okay. Orion? Go grab this orb of regeneration. I'll sneak past them. Okay. And then... Yeah, pull I'll back to here. Them? I like how there, there's actually, even if it's the same voice line, it's recorded differently. Now, Avi, 
finish Stand off down. this soldier. So the there's at least one reigns. fewer of them. And then I use Spellbook. Oh, that can only be done on the first turn. Right, okay, that's fine. I will just stand here and protect Orion. Rally yeah, troops. Fine. Is he going for Orion? You yes. die today. Oh, they he's got cleave. Okay. Walk in his light. I didn't realize. I will carve his sword on you. Uri, ah, something's wrong. Yeah, we're losing. <laughs> I actually think I might be able to do it. Your vision blurs. A pain shoots through your right arm to your fingertips. So severe, it feels like your skin might burst apart. And then it does. Ah, uh, help me! From your flesh, darkness emerges like a swirling black pearl. In you, you see pure night, and the night sees you. A corona of molten light crackles forth from the pitch. Impossible! Stand back, fools! All of you, back! It's a portal! Go! Now! You and Orion leap through the sweltering heat into the void and are immediately swallowed whole. Behind you, the portal closes, leaving no trace other than the black scars on the stone floor and fear in the hearts of all. I was From the actually... cosmic tear, you are hurtled bewilderingly forward. Never before had mortal feet touched this soil, nor mortal eyes seen this ancient sight. Sprawling, ancient, longing to be rediscovered. Until now, this is your true home. This is your fate. Okay. So, that was essentially tutorial section, I think. But I was, oh, I, I was surrounded by three, we killed one, I was gonna do the big spin. I actually think I could have taken that. I don't think we were losing. <laughs> Orion follows you as you approach the Forgotten City. At its gates, a word is carved in foreign glyphs. It reads, Ilion which you know to mean City of Sacred Angels, though you've never been able to read such markings before. Abandoned and ancient. Uh, could be Dwarven. Mother told me about places like this. Mother used to tell stories about such places. It's strangely familiar, like I've been here before. And these glyphs match the glyphs on my armor. You're worried about your belt, Abby? You just ripped a hole in space. We're lost in some forgotten city. I'm sorry. I just haven't seen you do that since we were kids. It scared me. You seen it happen before? I know. I couldn't control it then, but this time was different. Ori, I can't shake the feeling. It was fate. The word lingers as you carry forward. Fate. Let's look around, but be on your guard. Just because this place looks abandoned doesn't mean it is. Your mind races as you explore the landscape. Amongst the rubble you see ghosts of marketplaces, forges, homes and families. How incredible it must have been. Once. I feel like we're gonna be building this up. Your home, Ilion. Welcome to the legendary city of Ilion, your home. You will be able to make it your own and upgrade it during your journey across Nevendar. Right now, you have access to the castle and a building of each of the four factions. In the faction building, you can recruit units for your army. Once this is done, go to the castle and speak to Orion to start your journey. So we can recruit an army, so we can have more units than just Avi and Ori. 
recruitment buildings. During your journey, you'll acquire blueprints. Each acquired blueprint will allow you to construct specific buildings in Ilion. Each building's construction will require specific resources and gold. Upgrading Ilion is essential as every building will grant powerful benefits. The key benefit is that new buildings allow you to recruit new units for your army. So we've got a graveyard. Empty spot for construction. Heart of the Abyss. Temple, Stone Ring. Ah, so th these are the four factions, I'm thinking. Can we recruit a zombie? 500? How much money do we have? You know what? Let's recruit a zombie. A building in Ilion has produced a unit. You can find this unit in the squad management screen. And you can level it up by training it in a building that produced it. Training costs gold, though. So I can actually... Oh, the zombie is maxed. You cannot have a more skilled zombie. All right, what else do we have? In the stone ring, we can recruit a shadow caster. So we can... This, this is... Like, you, you need to have... You can have a pretty large army. A soldier. Oh, just those standard soldiers. Yeah, let's get like a couple of them. Can we train them? No, they're maxed. Okay, so we'll get a couple soldiers. And Heart of the Abyss. Possessed. All right, we'll recruit one of you as well. I don't know which ones are good. I, I know how soldiers work. So you know what? Let's just... Uh, stock up on soldiers. Right, that's good. Then, castle. The castle is a place to perform a variety of actions, talk with your companions, research new spells, reassign your skills, gather resources from captured buildings in the world, uh, train companions, and discuss the next step. Uh, so I think we don't really have much of anything going on, right? We've, we've not captured things. Uh, research spells? Waning Bolt combat spell? Word of Divine Power. Summon Lesser Devil. You know, that's actually... I want these two spells. All right, let's move on. Orion. Weeks pass. You train tirelessly in the courtyards and under the pavilions, slowly honing your power. By night, you spend your restless hours exploring the castle grounds. One night, tonight, Orion follows you to the giant structure spiraling up from the rubble of this forgotten land. Inside, you discover a great hall enshrining a stone table. Upon it, a familiar sight. Look, a map of Nevendar. But if it's accurate, this city is at the center of the world. How has no one found this place? You look down at the sprawling map of Nevendar, dreaming of what this old castle might have been, or what it could be. Hey, Avi. Back when we first got here, you said something that's been playing in my head every night. At the city gates, you said, it was fate. What's our fate? I sound crazy. I don't know. I don't know what our fate is. When the power is pulsing through me, it was like I could see this place, like it was drawing us here. It would be nice to find a place that actually wants us for once. We've been scraping by, going from one low-paying contract to the next. Now we're trapped here. We're almost out of food and water. But you've been honing your power. Any day now you'll be able to control it. And we'll get out of here. Or we stay. This could be the home we've always wanted. It's an... Needs a little work, but imagine it. Orion looks around you, inspecting the hall. Yes, he seems to say to himself as this place, as he places his hands on his hips, this will do nicely. Fine. Fine? Yes, fine, but the Empire is going to be looking for us and they always find what they're looking for. Then we hire protection, which means we're going to need allies and money and ale. I was already sold. Where do we start? 
You point his attention to the map. With cunning, any of the denizens of Nevendar would make a strong ally. But where do you start? You know what? Let's... It's fine. I've made my decision. We'll go for the Empire. Navendar's Factions. Quest completed. First quest finished. Ooh, level two. Select a realm. The White Lands. Former Lair of the Dwarves. Difficulty hard, difficulty normal, difficulty easy. So this place is hard. You know what? Let's let's see what hard is like. Oh, this is this is the whole map. Okay. Uh, let's. Tr oh, right there we go. Right click, hold, travel to the White Lands. Doesn't matter where we go. Where we go? We're gonna do stuff. You've heard tales of winds that could freeze and shatter a mortal in one gust. Avalanches that tumble from the clouds for weeks without end. How pleasantly unexpected then for you to arrive here. The rolling expanse of sprawling meadow. Hey Ori, you sure this is the White Lands? I feel like we made a wrong turn somewhere. This is the Fields of Knot. That is the White Lands. Orion points dramatically upwards to a rock face encased in ice and turrets of snow, leading higher than you can see. We better start climbing. There'll be no alliance so long as the elves are up there and we're down here. Let's climb. I just picked the hardest spot. To return to Ilian, Ayana must... Uh, Avi... Ayana? Aviana must cast the portal. Press the portal button in the lower left corner to do so. Okay. The birds and creatures here are really loud. <laughs> Let, let's turn them down a little bit. Okay, good. Oh, wait. That's not the... Those things aren't sound effects. Those things are ambience. Let's turn that down. There we go. Okay. So, we're actually on a horse now. Can we see a map? Oh, we actually have a map. Fields of Nought. So, we're trying to get to the top of the mountain, I think. But we're gonna have to figure our way out. Seemingly from the sun, an arrow lands squarely between your feet. Then a small troop of ancient elves stands from the tall grass. The Fields of Nought are the territory of my pack. One more step is a step into your grave. Sig women of the Rye Dynasty. Nice of you to give us a warning shot, at least. You know what? Let's fight. I don't like your threats, elf. I don't care whose territory this is, elf. You shoot at me, I kill you. Simple. Let's try it. Uh, so we have stuff now. Uh, so let's... Can I can I grab... So this, this stuff costs leadership, right? So let's throw down a shadow caster and have our zombie there. Can I afford it? Oh, I can't afford it. Fine. We'll do that. So we have our soldier, a zombie. Let's have the zombie charge forward. And a shadow caster around the back. This is our setup for now. They've got... Feral Elf Warrior Scout. I think we got this, but I want to see how these other units work. Okay, new battlefield. Uh, Feel the Ryan snake cloak. bite! What is this stuff? Inflicts weakened on the first unit moving through the style, seal of fire, deals primal damage. So there's lots of damage stuff. Grants resilience, the first unit. That's actually a good one. These others are bad. Now you see me. All right, you can sneak forward. These guys. Movement five, movement four. One, two, three, four, five. So Moving. Yeah. You wait right there. I see my enemy. 
Is he just gonna run right up? Galorian Mac. <laughs> Bleeding right off the bat. Okay. Considering it's two units, this is harder than I expected. Um, shield Holding bash. The line. Okay. You wait right there. Uh, belching? Okay, we've got a zombie. Belching rot. Okay, hold on. Let's... <laughs> Walk on up. Okay, good. Uh, Shadow Embrace. This is Grant's Resilient. This is deals unholy damage. Uh, is there a range? Oh, it's a line. It's not really any... I didn't leave a line of sight, I think. That's fine. Let's grant... Resilience to you, then. I'll sneak past them. So you can start dealing with this You mess this with guy. Abby? You mess with me! Let's move. You can now step up. Commanding strike. You're mine. We make our stand here. Okay, then it's his turn. Galleon watches. <laughs> Slice and dice. Yeah, considering it's just two units, I see why this section is called hard. Claw attack comes with a screen. Good. How does this... Oh, I see. It, it goes in a line. Which means the shadow caster has to stand there. And then can do this. Okay. It's limited in the directions. The Feel the snake's bite. Okay. This should finish off Feel the scout. Feel my blade's bite. I think we're getting good at this. Graveyard. When units are defeated, they are sent to the graveyard. See which units are in the graveyard. Interact with the graveyard icon in the upper right of the screen. Oh. Galorian Mac. Ho. Right, like a... Like a card game. So there's spells and abilities that can, I don't know, raise from the dead or something like that. Okay. There will be no surrender. Anyway, I think we got this. Zombie gets the last hit. Yes. Leather pants. We get a lot of leather pants in this game. <laughs> Everyone all right? I stepped on an arrow, which really hurts. But other than that, yes, we're fine. You? Yeah, I'm fine. A little rattled, maybe, but I'll be all right. Let's be careful. We're clearly being watched. All right. Let's... The expanse of sweetly fla flowers bathe the base of the mountain in a strange honeyed smell. Slowly, almost imperceptibly, the world grows blurry. Then your limbs grow tired and heavy. Every step seems more impossible than the last. Orion looks to you, his drowsy eyes rolling into the back of his head. Avi, I... Bit hard to look at me with the eyes in the back of your head, but okay. It's Orion. It's the flowers! The flowers. Don't inhale. Something about them makes you want to fall. 
Your words echo in your head as some sort of lullaby might. They chime heavily. It's deafening. The world grows dark. Your body, weightless. Good night, you say to yourself and the world. Everything in this world wants to kill us, basically. The fields of naught. Hmm. Well, we're in cages. Your bleary eyes adjust to the dark around you. But they hardly need to. You know a jail cell well enough. It was the flowers in the fields of naught. Cohen? The reason you fell asleep. But then I guess you've already figured that out. Your eyes adjust to see the slender form of an elven assassin. The fields of naught don't work on elves. But then I guess you've figured that out too. I'm Aviana of Ilion. Ah, sorry. It's been a while since I had a cellmate. I'm Cowan, former chief assassin for the Elven Alliance. Now, chief prisoner. We need to get out of here. There must be a way out. Why would you want to leave? Lots of reasons. I want my freedom. Because I don't like being in cages. <laughs> it's, very, it's very straightforward, Cohen. Uh, at least in this cage you can see the bars. Sure, you can escape, but what are you escaping to? The illusion of freedom is not freedom. Still, you look stubborn and I'm feeling generous. Let me help. I'd like the space to lie down. That, that, that's pretty much it. Talking jogs his memory. There was a time he'd planned to escape. Such plans were long forgotten until now. Moraki. No dwarven door can remain close to it, even a cell door. I once planned to use it, but there's the small matter of the army of guards. He reveals a makeshift key, a carefully carved rock emanating an otherworldly green glow. You'd give it to me? Either you die, in which case the Morok was of no worth anyway, or you live, in which case it served its purpose. Sounds good. Thanks for the key, Cowan, but I have to go. If you do intend to befriend my people, you'll need to do so through their leader, a chieftain named Ormeriel, held at Strongpeak. Held? As is true of all of us, she is a captive. When you see her, give her this for me. He hands you a small trinket of elven design. You do not recognize it, but notice he has another tied around his wrist. Let her know Cowan pledges himself. Go wisely, Aviana. Will do. Now, to teach a bunch of guards a lesson, if you'll excuse me. I think he would be a future companion. Your adventure continues. As you progress, you will acquire multiple quests like this one. Journal. Fields of Nought. Side quest, companion quest, completed quest. Oh, the companions will have their own quests as well. Okay. If it's your freedom you're after, I don't think you'll find it here. Thanks for the key, Cowan. Just wanted to check. Orion exhales deeply and smiles to see you unlocking his cell. You're a sight for sore eyes. I was about to say the same thing. You all right? Oh, don't worry about me. The gruel was delicious, and I managed to pinch this from one of the guards. He reveals a small flask, which smells strangely like wine. A surprise. Elven palates are known to prefer harsher things. Elven wine? The next best thing. I overheard them saying it's a potion to protect against the fields of naught. Just a sip would do. You take it and drink it down. Careful to leave enough for whomever may need it. Great work. Now... What do you say to getting out of here? I have a plan. We head for Strong Peak and meet an elf named Ormiriel. Apparently, she's the leader of the elves here. I've said it before, and I'll say it again. Lead the way. Orion is insanely loyal. <laughs> uh, treasure chest. Chain boots. I don't know if that's going to be better than what we got. We've got more leather pants. Oh, our... 
Oh, not all leather pants are the same. Some leather pants are better than others. Those boots are better, though. Okay, okay. You know, the, the sound effects in this game are surprisingly creepy. You know, let, let's, let's get out of here. I think we can take a guard. Elven pack, yeah. Battle, we have our army still with us. Uh, why are you down there? Let's bring you back, save. Uh, oh, we can swap out our soldier with a full health one. You know what, let's try the possessed. Let's do that. You know what? It makes more sense to have a soldier instead of Shadowcaster here. Good. Ready. Okay. But the Shadowcaster is good, but when there's more enemies. Okay. Feel the Close snakes fight! I'll sneak past them. Walk up that way. Okay, now these guys' movements... How many... Five? Five. One, two, three, four, five. So this is actually fine. Move out. Let's just wait right there. Like an arrow. I should have put Orion here. That would have made more sense. I see my enemy. These metal clangs. Are they part of the ambient noise? Let's turn the ambient noise down. Okay. Weapon swing, wild swing, hits up to three targets. The twin moons! Red and blue! Pressing the enemy. Going, shield bash. Wear them down. Okay. Not sure what it is with the metal clangs in this section. I'm going to drop ambience way down. Is it not ambience? Belching rot. It might be a mix of ambience and sound effects. Or maybe it's just sound effects. Let's drop this. Just just for now. Just for now. I've really liked all the sounds so far, but I think maybe that one's being a I'll bit sneak weird. Past them. Feel my blades bite! Flanked bonus from stealth, that's huge. Great. Quickly. Die. Finish the old him. Old ways must die. Four hundred damage. Lightly. Galleon watches. Ho! All right, let's uh, make this efficient. Let's move you up here. Let's try a wild swing. Oh, it hits like that. I see. There's only one target. We will be victorious. Fine. Soldier holding the line. Uh. You know what? I'm actually going to send a zombie through this way. Uh, he didn't need regen, but whatever. You wait right there. Because then I can past them. have Orion Feel my do that bite. to weaken him. Face your death. Flanking bonus. Die quickly. Uh -huh. Almost kill him. It's fine. Belthagon Hoylentoth. That'll get it. Continue. Your party reunited and the pathway clear, you place the Morok key into the ancient stone door of the prison. It shudders and opens. 
you go forward one step closer to freedom. And one step closer to finding the elf known as Ormeriel. You have acquired your first faction building blueprint. Constructed buildings can be upgraded but can also be replaced and any building you replace. So basically we can now actually go back and build something. Leave the catacombs. So stealth would be an option here. Can I actually... Hey, our first bit of stealth. <laughs> Snuck past some guards. Made it to the exit. You emerge to the biting sting of wintry air running through you. The chill of winter is streaming down the mountainside. Take this. It will stop the flowers of the fields of Nott from rendering sleep. As you hand out the tincture, Orion's eyes scan the massive, blustering winterscape beyond you. The White Lands are famously cold, but Mount Kaholderat looks like a snow magnet. So, any idea how to get the elves to listen to us? You won't like it. We head deeper into the mountains, scale Kaholderat, and at its summit is the old dwarven stronghold Strong Peak. There, we'll find the elven leader or Muriel. I have a token I can give her to let her know we come in peace. Climbing uphill in the snow. Sounds great. Find a secondary entrance. Ah, so now that we're out of the dungeons, let me just boost this back up. <laughs> it's okay. So checking the map. So we were... I think we... Yeah, we came from the west. The Catacombs of Norndon. Farathin the Keen. Oh. Side quests. It's okay. We don't need to do side quests. We can ride up the mountain. Elven structures. There's iron. There's... So you can... Capturable. Oh, so here we can capture... Yeah, bypass easier battles. Ooh. If I press conquer... It's the auto calc, and that turned out very well. Okay, so super easy battles. You can just so we've captured the building. So that provides resources. This archer, since we're on a horse, we can just run by. But you know, if 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 it was my day off. I, I would just really just take my time clearing everything. But I, I want to see if we can see more stuff. Gateway. Ooh, needs a companion who can open gateways. Right now I'm just doing... What? Obelisk. Elven pack. Guarding an obelisk, I see. Okay. That's a big one. That's... So you can only do the autocalc on easy battles, I think. Oh, I should have swapped out for the summoner. There's so many of them, but it's okay. Feel the snake's bite! We can figure this out. These guys, five moon points. Shadow caster back there. Scout warrior. One, two, three, four, five. So he'll be there. So you, I want to be I'll there. I'll past them. Quickly. Going. Oh, okay. Ran through the confused. Quick, but painful. Okay. Like an arrow. Not sure if we'll lose some units here. Strong. 
Uh, okay. That reveals Ari as well. You know what? I'm not a huge fan of the possessed, so you're just a distraction. Mounting well, an offensive. Let's shield Holding bash you. Uh, I think I should have my minions focus on one guy. Then our heroes focus on someone else. Oh right, I forgot you. Shadowcaster. Oh, I learned more spells as well. I just remembered I learned more spells. You mess with Abby, you mess with me. Let's Feel give you a double. Bite. So those frost arrows which hit everyone. Spellbook. I've got other spells. Summon Lesser Devil, Waning Bolt. Face your death. Forgot we have ranged spells now. Can I cast two spells? No, I can't cast two spells. Fine. Decidus Hoylentor. Yeah, th this possess doesn't do a lot of damage. Galorian Mac. <laughs> Orion always ends up in this really vulnerable position because I send him out this cloaked and then he's just right there in the middle of everything. On the offensive. <laughs> the zombies are really loud. Quick, but painful. Shadow Embrace. Okay, Orion, you need to not be now right in the me? middle of the battlefield. Feel my blade bite. Let's yeah. move. Just stab him, I think. Face your death. The liberator reigns. Oh, that got him. Yes. That arch is just targeting Orion. I really need to swap out that possessed. There will be no surrender. Uh, yeah, okay. These, these minions are really struggling taking down one warrior. Galorian Mac. Right. Line them up. Okay. okay. You mess with Abby, you mess with me. You're gonna cloak so that inflicts silence on the first. I don't want to. I'll sneak past okay. them. You move to here. Galleon watches. Huh. Okay, I'm okay losing that possessed. Wear them down. I think we might finally get this guy soon. The zombie does decent damage. Probably want to heal. Oh, I can't? Okay, fine. Moving. Let's try to take out this archer. Flanking bonus. Face your death. Okay, okay, it doesn't do too much damage. 
It does rely on... Ah. The bleeding... Ah, he bled out, which revealed him. Feel the snake's bite! Otherwise, we would have flanked Feel from... Feel my blade's bite! You mess with Adi, you mess with me! From Cloak. Uh, are we gonna lose a unit? Ooh, close. I think bleeding will actually kill this unit. Which I'm okay with. There will be no surrender. We fight for the Empire. Now, belch on you. I love getting through these battles and like not losing units. Move out. You're done. If this survives the bleed, then uh, we could get through this without losing a unit. Jeez. Okay. I'll sneak past them. You mess with Abby, you mess Just with me! Just have to try kill her as quickly as possible. Can you hear the voices? Decidus I should have walked through that. That's actually a good thing, isn't it? Yeah, but... What's our move order here? One, two, three, four... I put the soldier there, or the zombie there, then Avi can't hit. So we will actually... be victorious. Leave an opening. Moving. Okay. You're mine. Got her. No way. Is Ori gonna die? <laughs> Is he still bleeding? <sighs> Feel the snake's bite! <laughs> you mess with Abby! You mess with me! Uh, equally close. Equally close. Oh, that was... okay. Okay. You know what? I actually feel like I'm not... Oh, a health fountain. Look at that. Very nice. I feel like I'm not prepared to to get through the rest of this thing because uh, these are just normal units. I'm not even fighting. Look at that. What? Oh, no, I can't do that. Let, let's go back to our home base. We've got a blueprint. So like in this empty slot right here. Did I pick up a blueprint? Oh, do I not have the resources? No, no, it just says no blueprint. I thought I did pick up a blueprint. Uh, Ilion's vault. Let's see if there's something in the vault. Oh, it's actually a thing. Oh, there's actually like... locations. Oh, these are like special rewards, I see. Okay. This is the way back out? Okay, okay. I can't remember if we did actually pick up a blueprint. Or not. Did we get a new helmet? Did. But anyway. I think... I think you get... What this game is like. Oh, you can teleport right back to your last location. I see, I see. So, basically, that is Disciples Liberation. And I think I've, I've covered all of the, the key points. The dialogue choices, the combat, the base building. Right? It, it's that kind of RPG. And with 80 plus hours of single player content, 
you could you could just sit with this for a long time and just play through it and uh you know do do that thing that i i wish i had the time to do if you have the time to just sit down with an rpg and just enjoy the rpg then you can do it with disciples liberation uh like combat wise you know it, th there's been this I mean, the last time I actually sat down with an RPG, there, there's been there was a more of a trend to moving towards real time with pause combat. But you know what? I, I'm good with, with, like I, I'm I'm very happy with tactical turn based combat uh, because it, it's just it's more chill, right? You can just lean back and then be like, hmm, what should I do next? And that that's actually kind of the thing I like about uh, tactical RPGs. The base building stuff here behind me, that's actually kind of a bonus. Um, the building of an army and then bringing that with you through the worlds, finding things. It's a nice little layer. I mean, base building in RPGs has been sort of a thing. But I'm not sure how many actually let you build an army. But anyway. That's going to be Disciples Liberation for today. Hopefully you enjoyed what you saw. If you'd like to check it out, click the link down below. Uh, thank you so much to Disciples Liberation for sponsoring this video. I do always like a good excuse to check out a new RPG. And here's one of them. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I should be able to put a link right here using the link for you to check it out. So you can click that. Otherwise, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it and found this useful. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys. Bye.